Wish You Were Here. While a picture of Dorset does include some popular holiday destinations, rank and file officers say millions of visitors need policing. Then there are the busy night spots in places like Weymouth. An international airport with ferries coming in and out, big urban areas like Bournemouth and Poole, and quieter rural locations which have their share of crime too. But given the cuts to all police budgets, wouldn't any one of our local forces appreciate more funding? Some have motorways and cities to contend with, unlike Dorset. So because every county is slightly different, the funding given to police tries to take account of that. But the question here is whether it really does. What we're talking about is the money coming in from central government. That's been cut in any case by 20% across the board. It's the way in which what's left is divided up which is now causing the concern. The claim being that Dorset receives the least amount of money from Westminster. What does that mean? Well, a greater burden on town halls or the council taxpayer, according to the Police and Crime Commissioner, who says normally they have to make up about 30% of the budget, where in Dorset's case, it's more like 46%. To give a fairer deal. But the MP who led today's debate with the policing minister says he's aware that government finances are tight. We're not asking for more money to suddenly drop off the trees. All we're asking for is a better share of the cake. You know what it's like. But as in other counties, crime has actually fallen in Dorset, in spite of the squeeze. One independent think tank feels the cuts have to be seen in context. Well, certainly there was a significant increase in police funding um, in the decade or so that preceded 2010. And as a result, the number of police officers, police staff and police community support officers grew substantially. So what we're seeing in a way is a reversal of that increase to take us back to where we were 10 to 15 years ago. And by historic standards, police officer numbers will still be relatively high. The Home Office has agreed to look again at its funding formula. But there could be a new twist to the row when in a few days' time, the government announces where the axe does or doesn't fall next. And for now, that really is answers on a postcard. Simon Clemison, BBC South Today.